right, people. Here we go. I'm kind of mad because the old videos we made of Transformers gameplay, let's play, whatever you want to call it, the audio sucks ass. Uh huh. So now we're gonna do this, and hopefully, hopefully, it sounds good. That's Scott leaving the room. That's Scott leaving. That's Scott and Jen making out. What? Open tongue. I saw a tongue. And there goes Scott. Okay, so let's look for a match here. We need to find someone on Chris's level because uh, it's, it's what, pretty what, low. What? What? Yeah, here's a, yeah, if you guys didn't know, Jan's kind of an asshole. Well, he, actually, out of all of us, I think he's the most asshole here. I think we all know who the real asshole is here. Jan. So, okay. Oh, wow. Random match. Is it the same people? I left the match earlier. No one coming. No one was in it, but... Okay, thank God. Okay, it's locked in here. I showed my my. Okay, so show them your awesome skills. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Oh crap, he's got a shield. Ah, damn it. Where did that come from? Uh, what the? Who? How? What the hell? You see this guy? I'm gonna blast him up in the sky. Screw this. This guy's probably hacking or glitching. Either way, he deserves death. Okay, bad idea. Okay. Peace out, yeah, sucker. <laughs> hey, I didn't actually. I didn't get hurt. My shield got damaged, but they recovered. Oh, come back here. <laughs> there can only be one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm like. I, I'm guessing he took a lot of health hits. My grammar's not good today. He's just like, oh crap, I'm scared of that big guy though. He's a threat. Okay, hug this. Oh great, a healer. I'm out of here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Peace out. <laughs> okay, I, I feel like that's a big advantage for flyers. They can just like, bye. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I am not dealing with this drama at the moment. Huh? Alright, so yeah, we talked about it earlier. How do you feel about Boondocks coming back? Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> That's it. Why not? Yeah. I mean, it was bad. I think it was good. It was. Yeah, the social commentary was good. Yeah. I, I feel like sometimes the... I know it might sound racial, but you know, whatever. I don't care anymore. The fact that... You, I think they use nigger a bit too much. I know that's the point. But I think they over... I, I think they tr they did too good on the, you know... Angry black man saying nigger all that. Like Stink Meaner. I thought he's funny sometimes, but I feel like they, they, just his dialogue, is, it's too much. Like, right. you know what I mean, right? right. Like, it, there's only so much angry black man I can take in one scene. Until you just, like, explode on you. Yeah. It's funny, though, especially the fight sequences are funny with them. Yeah, I actually get enjoyment from it. And it's somewhat realistic with the movement because it's Kung Fu and everything. Like, I think my favorite, one of my favorite episodes is when Stink Wiener came back for the first time. Oh, because of his speech? What, what, no, what was his speech? Y'all niggas always be noisy. Y'all yeah, niggas be always... Or what was that exactly? I know Vince, like, memorized that shit. Well, these are so memorable. I, I, I just remember my like, BET is the worst thing that <laughs> ever happened to the community. I was like, <laughs> I just died. Uh, and it was kind of like somewhat um, thought provoking. Like, I mean, kind of like, what, what like, would he like, act? Now, I, I, like, like, I don't watch like, it. The only thing I watch on BET is, Shit. is the BET cipher that they hold every year on the BET News Award. Yeah. Because, this guy's okay. following me. Holy shit. At all? Damn it. The last thing that I know I've watched was that specifically from BBC. on BBC, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember watching this show, but it was on a different kind of Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I already watched it, and it was like, unless I was bored and I was cooking, like, food. This background music, basically? Yeah, I'll use it as background music. Like, oh yeah, I remember that. But other than that, I don't know what else is on BBC. 
Yeah. It's, so, it's, I don't know if it's representing the, the community well or stuff like that. Do you believe uh, it's somewhat a real, it was realistic of if Martin Luther King was to see, you know, how a lot of black people are... Well, you know, obviously... I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying all black people, of course not, but I'm just saying, like, it's the stereotype is more apparent, if anything else, or... Yeah, it's a very complicated matter because, you know, social commentary, you like to pick out just one attribute, and sometimes they try to, I wouldn't say blow it up, but they do magnify it to a certain extent so that people can pay attention and realize that this issue, although not as big as the reality, is that it should be prevented. Right. They should and oh, shit. do something about it. So, I don't, I don't know. Same thing. It's, it's, a, it's a bit. It, that's a big debate, and there is both truths and faults to that. Because I'm not gonna lie, especially what be, especially what entertainment or like trashy entertainment. That's kind of accurate, if anything else. But yeah, I, oh, kind of sick. But yeah, I think that's one of the. I think that's one of the really critically acclaimed episodes of the show. And you know what character kind of like? I'm sometimes I like, sometimes I hate. Uncle Ruckus. I mean, the concept of Uncle Ruckus is freaking brilliant. A black guy hit so Yeah, kind of like Stinky. Like Holy crap, doses. I killed him. Uh, I can only handle really small doses. Or at least like, yeah, pretty much that. Like, small dosages. Like, I mean, yeah, he has some really hilarious moments. Like, when he sang that song, like, Don't get those niggas over there. I mean, oh my god, I, that's hilarious. I think it was just on hiatus this year. because I know the show is known for it's like year long hiatus between each season. Yeah, if anything, I heard the oh shit, I heard the season season three last season. Yeah, I, I, so I thought season three was the last season, but apparently not. It's been like what? How many years? Two years since like the last season? season? Yeah. Uh, Oh, I also like Tom. He's funny. The whitest black guy. Is he the one who did, like, I'm gonna meet you at the Starbucks, like, next to the border? No, I wanna meet you at the, uh, the top EV next to the Barnes and Noble. Is that uh, I don't know. I don't remember all the lines. I'm, the guy who has the a white white. A white white. No, 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 he's a black guy. He's just really white. Oh, okay. So Their neighbor. Uh, was, oh, him! Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I, like when I, he, I like the Usher episode. I like the jail episode. <laughs> when he just imagines if he went to jail and then people were like, <laughs> oh, God, just, that was just terrible. Because um, the, uh, the Usher episode is the one where Pat Williams played a pimp. A pimp named Slipback. Like, yeah. Like, oh, this is Slipback. No, no, no. Name Sip but I'm I'm not under, I'm not understanding. <laughs> and I like you know I did not know Charlie Murphy played one of the white boys, white guys. And he plays the ghetto white guy. That was Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy. I forgot who I, I forgot who I love his real like the Hollywood stories That's gotta be some of the best sketches. Yeah, but I do feel sad the fact Dave, Dave Chappelle is typecasted for those sketches at this point. Like, remember the, that, that remember that comedy show you told me about? Yeah. Like, explain to the audience if you guys know. I mean, that, that stand-up routine he tried to do, but people just kept... Okay, basically he had a concert about a couple of months ago. Or, you know, I, I don't know how, when the exact date actually happened. But, uh, it, this was technically his comeback show. It wasn't about him returning to TV. It was about him And and walked off. He, I thought he laid there. Then he like laid there. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Oh, oh because I, what I remember is he laid there for a little bit and then he just left. 
Yeah, and I, I, I again, his that's some of his best sketches, the Rick James. Yeah, but you gotta show him some respect because again, he's working his way back into you know a different form. Because if you've seen his interviews and stuff like that, he he really uh, talks about how you you shouldn't really worship celebrities that they're just normal people. Right. Like after their show is done and stuff, and they just wanted to be treated the same, and then they're heckling him and just like, oh, you're this one trick pony, so do everything that I love you. Expand grow and, and expand as a you know person, so and a comedian. So, so it's unfortunate. I freaking hate that audience for what they did. Oh god, I can't even watch it because those kind of things it just like infuriates me. He could have came back because his stand up his stand up shows are are fucking hilarious. Yeah, I was watching a Dave Chappelle show. Um, no, not Dave Chappelle show, but one of his stand up uh, comedy. I think it was in Killing, San Francisco. Killing him softly. Was it that one? It, no, it was okay, the one with uh, Michael Jackson bit. Oh no, Kim Sophie was in Washington. He was like saying like, I, 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 honestly, I, I don't know what to think ab- uh, about the Michael Jackson situation. Like, I'm just saying like, first of all, what kind of a 10 year old kid uh, from uh, Make a Wish Foundation wants to meet Michael Jackson? You aren't old enough to see Thriller. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell do you want to meet Michael Jackson for? I listened to Thriller when it came out, and I just kind of wanted to meet him. <laughs> if anything, I want to meet someone like Usher. So I, I was dying, and it was like. And, like, he was talking about, like, how Michael Jackson was a good host. Like, you know, he climbed trees, and he went on a roller coaster, <laughs> and then apparently the allegations was, I fucked your dick and shit. <laughs> and it was like, Dave Chappelle was like, I don't know about you, that, that is a great host. What more do you want from a host? <laughs> and then, um, and it was funny, too, because his last-minute comment about that, I was like, and what about you, kid? Were you dying? Why are you, every time I keep seeing you, you keep, keep getting stronger. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's a really funny guy. It was one of those he, – he, he, he's already a legend by definition, but – or a legend in the making, you know, living legend in a sense. But he could have been more if you just given him more time. Yeah. Like the only comedians we have right now that are notable is like Louis C.K. He's funny. Do you opinion. consider him Jordan and Peele? Uh, they're still making their way. They're not on the level of the Chris, Chris Rock, huh. Louis C.K. Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. Uh, Chris Rock, Ricky Gervais, and Louis C.K. Really? And they were just talking about their perspectives on comedy, and it was very interesting, and I would actually suggest watching it. Just to see how, like, how different they are. Well, if anything, if you can tell the difference between Ricky Gervais and everyone else. Why? Because no, Ricky Gervais has a completely different mindset on um, the other three. Because if you think about how they came up, the, the, those three came out very similar. Definitely the ABD man. Really? Yeah, Chris Rock, and especially Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, Jerry's pointing this out saying that you are the only guy with the spotlight on. You are the guy talking and everyone just, of course you're above everyone. Okay. So, um, Louis C.K. was more different about it. Chris Rock kind of agreed, and Ricky Gervais was like, no, I think it's all about empathy and kind of relate to everyday man. What about you? And when he talks about, oh, like, hold on. Uh, and when he talks about how he's better than anyone, he's just being sarcastic. I'm more of the everyday man. Yeah. I don't like I don't I don't have that mentality of being above everybody. Yeah. So yeah, it was very interesting. Like if, if you want to see four comedians that are obviously super popular as yeah. of right now, right. see their in, the insight on the mentality. It's a great video to watch. It's about <laughs> fifty minutes. Yeah, those kind of videos just fly by though. Like Oh it, no, it, it, it was really interesting. It felt like fifty minutes was nothing. You know what comedian I'm not really a fan, I really do not like at all? Oh. Uh Sarah Silverman. Her, I don't like her brand of comedy. It's like, it's too what? It's too I, um, I, I would say awkward, but I do like awkward comedy. But I just don't like how she presents her comedic timing. It's just not my thing. No, I get it. I get it. 
Like I think she relies too much on awkwardness, and maybe because I don't, I, I haven't watched that many shows, so I I just know her mostly because of her, from her own show, the Silver, Silverman show, and it's oh it's it's basically basically like so, somewhat dissimilar to like the Jeff Dunham show where they try to be their character or their act. But in everyday life. Yeah. Which I thought that show was all right, I guess. Really? It's called Saint Lopez. I watched the first episode. Is it comedy? Is it uh? It's comedy. They thought George Lopez played like I don't know, lawyer. Ah, oh, bitch, got oh, you. No, he's a teacher who's super rich. Wait, so is it stand? It's not stand. It's a uh, sitcom. It's, a, it's like George Lopez. Okay. Except his. He's better off. <laughs> what? He's better off in terms of his financial. Income, oh. In terms of the yeah. I love Benny though. Which is funny because I found out that the, the new Benny is actually on that showed up once on the George Lopez show. Huh. So I thought it was kind of funny that they did that. Um, but it was alright. I, I can't say much because I haven't watched that episode. But, uh, uh, George Lopez. Holy shit, there's a knuckle behind me. Sorry. Wait, okay. continue. Oh, okay. Um, Well, he's not, he's, not, he's not as stubborn as he was. He's not as stubborn, but he's still witty. Okay. He still ha just think of him as nicer. Oh, okay, I see. That pets for Saint George. Uh huh. So. Uh, he still uses his name, George. Yeah, and uh, as of right now, his family situation is he's divorced with his uh, wife. Uh huh. And he sees his child as well. They're very close. Like the fact that he's been divorced, they're, they're still again. Ah, like, damn it, got me. Yeah. So, right now, and they, they live with his uncle and maybe his brother, I don't know, but one of them is Johnny Trejo? Johnny Trejo? Yeah, yeah. The guy from Machete, right? Oh, cool. Yeah, so I was like, oh! That dude's yeah, funny. Machete. machete. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so far, uh, I, I don't know if you're interested, but I would say at least check out the first episode. I, I like the, the George Lopez show. It was cool for what it was. I mean... Yeah, and some jokes know. landed, some jokes not, not really. But uh, most of the time, I really did. Like, I hate how it ended. It just, it, I felt like it just ended, just done. Basically, no yeah, closure. Life is like you finally have control of the factory. Done. Life. Yeah. Holy shit! Did you see that? Hey, bitch! I'm dying. I'm taking your ass it was with funny me. When I was talking about closure, but, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I didn't. But a lot of sitcoms don't have really satisfying close. I just noticed that, like, that 70s show had an alright season for now. You know series what? I, for now. I, I didn't like the Freshman Show. Yes! I was like, yes! Yeah. Uh, 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 everyone's going their separate ways. They're all moved. Yeah, it was so sad. I mean, oh, wow, five kills. Huh? Yeah, but uh, that 70s show. Uh, okay, we'll talk about that 70s show next video because it's about to be end. But yeah, um, George Lopez. But let's go finish George Lopez. Um, but yeah, uh, new show. I don't know. Holy shit. Which didn't which lasted longer than I which it lasted for two years. Okay, that's pretty good. Why did it get cancelled again? Uh CBS did want to renew for a third season. Oh really? And it was kinda of funny because George Lopez oh, You saw that? You saw that? You saw that? Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I was a good. Now was a really. I'm glad I recorded that. You saw that, right? He was gonna. Fu okay, good, sorry. Continue. No, no, no. You have your moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> but uh, George Lopez. Yeah, he had the Lopez Tonight Show. Yeah. Or Lopez Tonight. And it was funny because if you know about the Conan, and last kill, last kill, fuck this. 